Good morning, Shane. Can you give us a bit more colour on what uh, credit quality in the loan portfolio looks like heading into 2023 amongst your retail and your uh, corporate uh, clients in a higher rates environment? Yeah, look, so we think our customer base at ANZ is going into what is undoubtedly a period of uncertainty and higher interest rates in remarkably good shape, yeah? So if you look at household, aggregate household debt in Australia, we all talk about the gross number, about two times household income. But when you net out liquid assets, so cash and equities, not superannuation, not their pensions, not their homes, just net liquid assets out of that, household debt and aggregate is close to zero. That's the lowest it's been in 15 years. So actually, retail customers in aggregate are going into an uncertain period in very, very robust shape. What have we seen them do over the last few years, particularly through COVID? Increase their savings accounts, increase their home loan offset accounts, pay down their most expensive debt. Personal loan and credit card debt are down 5 and 12% respectively. So actually, they're going into this in remarkably good shape. And we also know our in the incomes of our customers, ANZ, if you've got a home loan at ANZ over the last year, our customers' income has gone up about 5.5%. So actually keeping up with inflation. So actually they're going in in good shape. The numbers in small business are roughly the same. So we're looking pretty good. That doesn't mean there won't be those that are under stress. But actually, as of today, it's hard to find any particular areas of stress. But looking forward, we know that that will start to emerge, and we think that will start to emerge later uh, next yeah. year. Uh, hey, Shane Martin here. Good to see you again. And uh, it's uh, looking beautiful as usual uh, over in uh, Melbourne. So, listen, uh, I, was, I wanted to talk to you about uh, your NIMS, and you're probably happy but not surprised. Your NIMS picked up about 10 basis points to 168 uh, because, you know, you've got uh, mortgages rising faster than your uh, deposit rates, right? <laughs> On the housing side, yes. talk to us about that, because one of the unusual things is that ANZ was not able to really cash in on this COVID housing boom, but you picked up the slack, right, and now you're able to process your home loans uh, pretty much as fast as uh, about anybody else. Uh, g give me some numbers. How long does it take to process a home loan? Sure. Now. So first of all, just talk about them a little bit first, Martin. I think it's really important. I heard all the numbers in, and they're all correct. But importantly, the exit margin... So in September, we exited with a margin of 1.8%, so 180 basis points. And that really shows you the rapidly shifting uh, shape of the margin outlook or the margin performance at ANZ. And what you see in there is a contribution from all of our businesses, so not just retail here in Australia. What we're seeing in home loans, though, the home loan business continues to be extraordinarily competitive, both on price, and that has actually uh, led to a reduction. That's actually put margin pressure in the system. But to your point, it's also competitive in terms of turnaround times. Customers really want to know they're going to get their home loan approved. At the moment, if, you go, if you're an ANZ customer already and you go into a branch, you'll pretty much get an approval uh, same day. Uh, but, of course, the market here, a lot of same it comes day. through the brokers. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, but if a broker, day. which is about 60% of the market, if you come to us through a broker, you'll get a turnaround. If it's a simple home loan, like you were employed and you've got a payslip, two to three days, if it's more complex because you run a small business or your income is uncertain, that might be closer to a week.